Hey guys and gals, this is Hanagero in the tier 5 Japanese medium tank, the Type 3 Chinu. Um, it wasn't a recent acquirement. I actually got the Chinu pretty soon after the Japanese tanks came out. However, it's not a tank that I enjoy playing too much, so I don't take it out very often. I generally go off and uh, play some, some of the higher tier tanks. Uh, mostly because I can't really get used to the zero armor. Well, it's not zero, but it feels like zero armor that you get, even at uh, tier 5. So here we go. I'm getting into a position, and the gun depression on the Japanese tanks are pretty good. I'm going to sit here and... Let's see. Okay. T-34 is behind the house, and we just lost our Panzer 1C. But here we go, we got some targets going in in front of the house, and this is what you can kind of expect, or not expect, uh, in the lower tier matches. I wasn't really expecting anybody to pull up in front of these houses. And uh, look at that! <coughs> I don't actually have six cents on this tank. But I don't think I was spotted, otherwise I may be dead. Or um, I was spotted and the artillery was aiming at me and hit the headser full on and did no damage to me. There's the recently renamed uh, T-49 to the T-67. Don't think I've been spotted. Oh, there we go. Got him in the end. Uh, not moving though, so it wasn't that hard. And uh, the reload speed isn't that bad. And I can't really think of uh, a better way to play this tank. It's quite large. Oh, and I probably shouldn't have taken that shot right there. <coughs> Sorry. So it's quite large. And I don't think it maneuvers that well, but I'm not too sure about that. I'm, uh, oh, okay, well, here we, here we go. Artillery is aiming at me, and I've been spotted. So that's pretty much the first indication I get that I should not be in that spot. But the Chinu does act as a, an okay sniper at these distances. The gun is okay, though. Oh, that was a bounce, unfortunately. And I think uh, I am being spotted by that KV-1S. Um, or maybe it's something else, like the T-34. I don't believe the KV-1S has a good view range, but uh, I am shooting out of a bush and not from behind a bush. No, oh, there's a T-34. I can afford to take a hit from the T-34 as... oh. Well, as the T-34 is a uh, 57mm cannon, not that great. And unfortunately, I only tracked the Electo, so there we go. Got a little bit of artillery support, and there's an SU-85I somewhere. So that's not too good. I'm gonna back up now. Uh, the only one here on this side left. We've got a VK... Still in the base, probably AFK, and that artillery is still uh, firing at me. So that's the uh, downside of playing lower tier tanks. You've got artillery that reloads quite fast. Alright, let's get into a position where the artillery can't really hit me. I'm assuming... Uh, the artillery is still at uh, around A0 or A9, somewhere around there, as that's where they usually hide out. KV-1S. There we go. <clears throat> I can still take another shot? No, I can't. And uh, that's where I forgot about KV-1S having a smaller cannon, and also a tier 5. Firing APCR, interestingly enough, and uh, I did not notice this SU-85I uh, sinking up behind me. But we did win the game, 
uh, first class master badge with a high caliber uh, two kills 1120 damage done to the enemy 726 points of experience earned 19 shots fired 12 hit 11 penetration so the penetration is good at these tiers accuracy uh, well I was sniping quite a lot um, but it was at le less than 300 meters so actually that's pretty bad less than 300 meters I only did 487 damage I'm sorry, I'm talking complete crap. More than 300 meters, I did 487 damage. Uh, and less than that, I did more than that. So all that sniping was at medium range. Interestingly enough, it didn't feel like that, but uh, there you go. Uh, 24,000 credits earned with a premium count, 14,800 non-premium. And it's not a very nice tank to play. For me, at least. I feel like I would like some armor... So I'm not sure how uh, how I'm going to work out with the uh, tier 6 and 7s, especially when they're larger. Thanks for watching. Please press that like button and leave some comments. I'll see you in future videos.